how are we doing guys welcome back to the channel um back obviously new year first video of the new year so happy new year to everyone um back with the m140i again so i thought first video of the new year is going to be uh, just a summary really of the top five modifications sort of visual modifications that i've done to the car uh, just to give you an idea of what it looks like uh, the costing uh, and how to fit it so we'll jump into the video now Yeah, so all these modifications I'm going to show you in this video, um, I've all done them all myself. Um, so there's a video for each of them, which I'll put in the pop-up banner uh, above as I go through each one. Um, so if you want to have a go yourself, watch the video and hopefully it'll help you out. And if you aren't subscribed, just hit the subscribe button just down below. Obviously, this is a non-shadow edition, which you can sort of tell by the headlights because they've not got the black inserts in them. But um, So I've obviously changed the, the kidney grills, which were, mine were chrome and black. So you have like a chrome outer, outer edge there. Um, I got these from Carbon Accents. I think they were 35 quid, which isn't bad at all. And obviously you've got the, the dual slots there as well. Um, it's a bit of like M style, if you like. Uh, so really easy to do, really cheap. You literally take the, pop your bonnet up, pull the top of um, the bumper away. So after you've undone the screws, there's like six screws at the top pull it away and uh, you can get your hand behind then and there's a couple of clips all the way around pop your old ones out and literally just pu push your new ones in simple as that there is a video on it which uh, i'll put in the pop out banner just above yeah i don't know if you can see as well i'm not going to include it as a separate mod but i've actually changed the crash bar covers as well so we've gone uh, from black to red if you can see just behind the uh, the grills there so well worth doing if you're on about changing your grills you may as well do that at the same time i think they're about 15 quid or something that next one I'm going to come to really will depend on whether you've got a Shadow Edition M140 or not. Um, so I've tinted the backlights, which look a lot better than when uh, they were like sort of bright red before. Um, they've blended in with the paintwork really, but there's a bit of contrast now, as you can see. Um, I did it myself. It was the first time I've ever done it. Um, I'm not going to say it were really easy because it wasn't, uh, and I did have to redo one of them because there were too many bubbles and and things in there so um but yeah really cheap as well i think it was about 30 quid for the wrap and i used the light smoke tint by uh, vivid i think it was a vivid air tint uh, so you don't have to use any water or anything just literally um stick it on heat it up pull it round, and then trim it around the edge um so yeah it's the second one guys next one i'm going to come on to then um is the spoiler so i've bought uh, a spoiler cap for mine uh it was cheap it was from ebay i think it was 60 quid um it's only a bit of plastic at the end of the day um abs plastic gloss black um really sets off the car uh, i'll stand back a little bit just so you can get a better view um just gives it that little bit more of an aggressive feel at the back a bit more of a sporty car um so the spoiler that it comes with is well there isn't one really if i'm honest i'll pop a link in the description to that one and uh have a look at the pop art banner which will pop up now and I'll uh, show you how I fitted it. Right, so the fourth thing that I did, um, which probably, arguably, the best modification I've done so far visually, is the um, KSP sort of body kit, splitter kit, um, direct from KSP's website. I'll pop a link in the description to that one as well. Um, so it comprises of the front splitter, obviously, around the KSP logo there. You can easily take that off if you didn't want it on it's just stuck on um, and then the side skirts which if you've watched any of my videos you'll have seen already uh, and then you get these rear spats as well um, it's all comes in at 200 quid on ksb's website which for a body kit like that isn't bad at all um, really good quality really thick plastic um, not gonna shatter too easy if you hit a curve or anything like that i don't think um, obviously I haven't tested that theory so yeah take a look at KSB Auto Styling's website for that yes yeah, so if you are thinking about getting a KSB uh, body kit let me know um, send me a message or something if you need help I'll help you as much as I can uh, and obviously there's a video on this channel 
just explaining how I fitted it and uh, how I did everything. So, uh, yeah, have a look at that. All right, just moving on to the last modification visually that I've done. Uh, it's a sort of a two-parter, really. Um, and I think it's the best one that I've done, uh, and I definitely recommend doing it. So, obviously, you've got the gloss black KSB rear diffuser. Really aggressive looking. Um, a lot better than the standard one, which is just like a, a grey plastic panel, really. Nothing to it at all. Flat. A bit boring. Um, so, looks really good. Like I said, from KSB, uh, it's 140 quid. I'll drop a link to that one in the description as well. Um, again, I've got a video showing you how to install it, which will be in the pop-out banner. So check that out. You'll get you some uh, hints and tips on that. Uh, and also you can message me as well. If you're struggling with anything, I'll let you know uh, how I did it, how I got over any issues that I had. Um, obviously, it's two parts because when I changed the rear diffuser, um, the, the standard sort of exhaust tips looked a bit lost. A bit small, um, like pea shooters. So I thought I need to upgrade them. So I've gone with the Forge Carbon Fiber M Sport uh, rear uh, exhaust tips from Enforce uh, with the black inners, and then obviously it's all Forge, proper Forge Carbon that, which I think really sets it off nicely. All right, so there we go, everyone. Uh, just a quick video just to show you the uh, the top five modifications I've done visually to the M140. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed it. I wanted to put it all in one shorter video um, just so you can pick out any mods that you're thinking of doing yourself uh, and then you can click the pop-out banner obviously. Um, have a look at the more in-depth video and you'll get a bit more detail on how to fit it, pricing uh, and quality etc. Uh, so that was the whole idea of that. Like I said before, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel just down below. It should light up and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Cheers.